You should be down by the water to the right of the entrance. There's a sign on the railing for the Blue Impact Tour. Pause the tour until you get there. Good, we're here. Now, look out at the water and hold your iPod up. Yeah, actually raise that guy up like you're taking a picture. That's it. And line up the left side of the screen with the harbor wall you see on your screen. If you warm up all of the oceans, and particularly the harbor and the oceans right here, that water is going to expand and ultimately it's going to rise. That's Bud Riss, president of the New England Aquarium. And what that means is, over the next several decades, uh, the water right here in Boston, uh, by the end of this century, is going to be at least one to two feet higher than it is today. So why are warmer oceans rising? It's an issue you might have run into on the dance floor. You see, under normal temperatures, the ocean's water molecules move like they're doing a slow dance. Nice and easy, and a lot of them can fit on the dance floor. Yeah. But pump up the jam, and every one of those molecules starts moving, <laughs> getting down and taking up a lot more room on the dance floor. That spacing out of faster molecules is exactly what thermal expansion is, and one of the major reasons oceans will rise in the 21st century as they inevitably heat up. Now gaze around you. See how the harbor walk actually tilts up as it wraps around the back of the aquarium? That's one area that should remain okay for the next century. But gaze behind you, over your right shoulder, and you should see a lower pier on the other side of the IMAX theater. In 2002, this photograph was taken at high tide. Scary kind of a sign of what's to come. Many people are not aware of how rising oceans might affect our cities, but one artist has come up with an engaging way to outline the problem. Blue waves! Wouldn't it be nice to have a referee blow a whistle and call the rising oceans out of bounds? That rep should be us, but it's kind of hard to make a call when melting ice caps and waters splashing into cities seem so far away. Well, artist Eve Mosher has walked 70 miles of coastline around New York City with a chalk marker, like the ones used to make lines on playing fields. She was marking the 10 feet above sea level line New York's waters would reach with a 100-year flood. Some scientists have shown that 100-year floods will happen every four years by the 2080s if our oceans continue to rise at the current rate. What I like most about the project is the instant what's this reaction people had to a lady walking down the street with a chalk marker. Yeah, pulling climate issues from the media into our surroundings is a great step in creating awareness. To see other public art projects and get inspiration for your own, check out neaq.org tours. <laughs>